A business's success can be measured by its assets, and one of its greatest assets can be its people. Like any asset, employees of a business need to be properly managed. It's not about being in total control, but gaining sustainable performance improvements or having a plan for talent acquisition. All the policies, procedures, and legal aspects of having an employee fall under the umbrella of Human Resources, or HR. As important as HR is, a lot of new business owners don't know what's involved. We have an expression that we use, they, they don't know what they don't know, right? So business owners usually, you know, start a business um, and, you know, they're, they're wearing multiple hats. They're trying to manage the finances of their company. Um, you know, maybe it's a product and service that they're manufacturing, um, but they also have to manage their people as well. And certainly people are, in most businesses, the most important asset. I would say it's safe to say in all businesses, right? Small, medium or large. Hiring your first employees is a big step for a small business. Beyond a job description and salary, what else would a business need to consider if it's a small operation? Really, as soon as you hire one employee, um, there's the need to start complying with uh, certainly employment-related legislation. Um, you know, how do you pay out that employee in terms of vacation pay, stat holiday pay, all of those things. So as soon as you hire one employee, you, you really require some sort of HR assistance. Most larger companies have an internal human resources staff on site. Small to mid-sized companies usually rely on outside services to develop their HR policies. Janice LaRue is a certified HR manager whose company assists businesses with all the issues that they might face with having employees. Everything from uh, retention issues, um, you know, to could be maybe an employee, um, they let an employee go, terminated an employee, um, they didn't pay out what the employment standards legislation in Ontario had states that you have to pay out for notice of termination pay, and that employee went to the Ministry of Labour, made a complaint, and now they're faced with a Ministry of Labour complaint. So now they have to deal with that. Those, that could be a repercussion. Um, you know, in terms of on the health and safety side, it could be financial consequences in terms of receiving orders or fines um, under that piece of legislation as well. So, you know, fairly significant in terms of some of the consequences. Human resources will offer more than just advice. Writing policies and procedures to create a course of action to follow when dealing with the company's employees. If properly executed, your policies will not only increase productivity, but the value of your company as well. Policies and procedures are really kind of the backbone, um, and, and they, you know, they're absolutely critical in, in order for businesses to manage their people effectively. So what we will do is we'll go in and we'll actually develop the policies for them. And on the HR side, it could be everything from, you know, how they recruit in terms of the policy on that and what the procedure and steps are, to, you know, how, how they pay out vacation pay, stat holiday pay, um, how they discipline staff. What they would do with those policies, they would use those to make effective decisions when they're managing their people. So it, it helps to ensure consistency, that they're treating everybody consistently across the board. It also captures that whole legal compliance area as well to make sure that they are paying out things like vacation, stat, holiday pay over time correctly. Um, and so, you know, when they have issues that are, arise with employees, then they can go and refer to that policy document to ensure that they're handling it properly. How you deal with your staff will reflect on your business. It's all part of your business's corporate culture. When everyone understands what's expected of them and how conflicts can be solved, then you will have a happier, smoother operation. See, what we do is we actually start developing the policies first. Um, and again, those are management tools that they would use. Then we take those policies and we translate them into an employee handbook. And that employee handbook should reflect the culture of that organization, the values of that culture. Um, and, and really that handbook is, is kind of the key socialization tool that an organization would use to get an employee up to speed with that company. From hiring to firing, and all the details in between, human resources is an important part of any business for legal aspects and increased productivity. Big Fish Video Productions.